One man has taken to social media to get people interested in his artwork. Yeah, it's similar to a scavenger hunt. When they find it, they get to keep it. WMER 2 News' Ashley McDowell shows us how it works. For those seeking an adventure, Joshua Walker has you covered. His creations are metal art that's sending those in Parkville and the surrounding areas of the city on a hunt to find his work. One day it was uh, this little cool little scorpion um, and he posted a picture and he was like scavenger hunt, go find it. Jeffrey Carter was the first person to collect enough clues to find the hidden art. I mean, it was really cool because just the simple fact that somebody is making something and then putting it out there just for free, like just saying like, hey, I made this really cool thing, come and get it. Like Taking to social media, Walker posted a picture of the piece in front of where he's hiding it with just a hint, an idea that started during COVID. Everyone's in the house and no one's going out. People are out to wear masks. What could I do? And with the scavenger hunt, the first one, that's kind of when it sparked off once I saw so many people gravitate to the idea. Wanna see you with the show, could treat you right. First, he collects the scrap metal, and with a welding department at his work, he uses his lunch break to get creative. During the whole entire break, which is like 45 to an hour, it's just tacking things up, cutting things apart, re-going at it until I finally get an understanding of how to do it. And once I have the understanding, then I go ahead and start making pieces. He's been known to hide the metal art around retail stores and parks. If I'm in an area and I have a few pieces with me, and if I'm just driving around, it's a beautiful day, let's get people outside. When hiding his piece of art, he looks for places that are safe, easy to access, and blends in. Occasionally throwing in a riddle. For instance, one of my riddles was we was in Double Rock Park and a tree had fell, and I say it's on top of a tree. And everyone's looking for the, but it literally was at the end of the tree, it was at the top of it. Sparking happiness to those in a time they need it most. And I've heard some really good stories from people in Parkville who were going through tough times, who just so happened to find a piece and it gave them a little bit of joy and a little bit of strength to go on. Walker hopes to raise enough money to open an art studio. In the meantime, he sells on Etsy when he's not doing the hunt. In Baltimore, Ashley McDowell, WMAR 2 News.